Today I'm going to talk about something that's really not been covered enough recently. I call it the Olympics. I know it's basically impossible to escape from the Olympics now, but I have to have my say. My overall thoughts on the Olympics is that it's fine. I think it's probably a good thing for London and the country, and it's just nice, in general, to have something going on that's not to do with our terrible royal family. There's still the massive thing that we spent loads and loads of money on something when we're really poor, and people are living in dreadful conditions just around the corner from where we've built our billion pound stadium. But without getting too political, I quite like some of the events. The gymnastics is fun with the flipping and the, the jumping and the twisting. That's fun and exciting because you never see people do that really. It's not something you see every day. Football? Olympic football? Why? Why do we need Olympic football? There are so many football competitions that get so much coverage constantly. Not even football fans care about Olympic football. Literally no one cares. Tennis? It's just finished, and then tonight, I saw Andy Murray playing tennis for the Olympics. He's just done Wimbledon! Then there's those ones that aren't even sports. The ribbon. Let's just, the ri A woman is dancing about with a ribbon, and then she gets a gold medal for doing it the best. Surely, running about with a ribbon is just what girls do, isn't it? Don't, isn't that what you girls like to do? You run about with ribbons and have a dance? I've seen you girls, I know what you're about. Then there's things like volleyball that nobody care. Who is a volleyball fan. You never meet someone and you go, what are you, uh, what are you into? Oh, I quite like sports. Okay, what sports? Volleyball. Then there's the whole issue with the countries thing. Now, USA win all the time, but that's because the USA have over 500 entrants. Why are the USA allowed to have 500 entrants when someone like Venezuela has 16 entrants? How in anyone's brain is that fair? The worst part has been the Olympic torch. Literally the most boring thing that's been on the news this year. Constant coverage. They just keep telling us where that torch is. Nobody wants to know where the torch is. Nobody, nobody cares. I must admit, when I first heard about this, I thought it was quite cool that a torch was going around the whole of the country and getting passed on and on and on and on and would end up at the stadium. But then you discover, not actually passing a torch on, everyone's got their own torch and they light it and then they have a run. That isn't passing a torch round, is it? That isn't relay. I thought it was going to be like a proper relay. They're going to actually have the, th the physical torch is going to go for each person and end up at the stadium. From Greece all the way round. Quite amazing. Not so amazing when everyone's got their own version of the torch. That makes it far less amazing in my opinion. Everyone's like, oh look, we've got to run down and see the Olympic torch. No, that's just the torch that's near you. That's not the Olympic torch. And they looked horrible as well. Horrible, like, cheap, tacky. The colour of them was like that cheap, tacky wrapping paper you get in, like, Clinton's. The horrible, metallic, shiny gold. That's what it looked like. Horrible. I must say, the Olympic ceremony was pretty good, but then it was done by Danny Boyle, so of course it was pretty good. The Queen, doing a bit of acting. <laughs> Possibly my favourite thing the Queen has ever done. Oh, hello, Mr. Bond. <laughs> it's like everyone watching it like, oh my God, the Queen is doing something fun. Oh my God. Uh, but then she cancelled all of that out when they introduced her. We're like, it's Her Majesty the Queen, everyone. Everyone clapped and she did the most pointless little bit of speaking. The same, completely void of charisma or anything exciting. She's just so dull. I don't know why I was expecting her to smile at the Olympics anyway. She didn't even smile when we spent billions of pounds on her for her stupid 60th anniversary a couple of weeks ago. That didn't even make her smile. But all in all, I think the Olympics is a good thing. I'm quite enjoying watching it, which has quite surprised me. Earlier, I was amazed by an American who was doing a swim and he looked like a fish. Actual, like, like a fish. Just, just as if going through the water was like walking. Pretty amazing, some people, on the Olympics, but also, some people, pretty boring. Um, all in all, I give it a 5 out of 10. <laughs>